Speedflow Basics. Speedflow Basics is a series of videos that will teach you how to use Speedflow on Blender. And in this video, we will make a parametric object. We will create a gear, a 100% editable gear. In this video, we will use a lot of modifiers. So try to follow. I will try to not be too fast. And you will see the order of modifiers is really important. So first, create a simple plane, like that. Go in edit mode and select those two vertices. You can place them to zero, like that. Okay. We will select this one. We will add a bevel to cut here. I will press space, bevel, S for the width, D for the segments. I want two segments and F for the profile and I want a profile to zero. And with S, I will be able to do this. If you want, you can keep it like that, but I want to apply everything because I want this result. Okay. Now I will select this one. I will press space. I will choose bevel and I will have this result. I will be able to add segments to play with the profile. Now I will add one hair too. So in the modal, you will press tab. You will select this one and you will press space and you will choose bevel. So like that, as you can see, I created two bevels, one and two. You have the keys here to change to the next modifier, to the same next modifier, just like that. So I will keep it like that. Now, what we want is to change the form of your object, of our object, with displace modifiers. So for this, we will start with the X axis. I will press tab. I will select this one and this one. I will press space and I will choose this place that will give me this result as you can see now I have a displace in x axis so I will just move it let's see here I will press tab I will select this one and uh, I will press space and I will choose the displace just like that that will give me this result let's move it after the first one with done our okay just like that tab select this one space, this place, and I will have this result. Same, move it after the other one. Like that, we have the first one that will do this, the second one do this, the third one do this. Okay? You can edit as you want. This is pretty easy. Let's do the same, but in the y-axis. That means I will press tab, I will select those two, I will press space, this place and I will choose Y. So just like that with S, I will be able to play with this range. Okay. Let's move it after the X. Like that, we will have X, 0, 1, 2, Y, 0, 1, 2. So tab, select those two, space, this place in Y and move it after the first uh, Y in this place. That will give us this result. Let's continue. Tab. Select, select, space, displace, Y, and move it. Just like that. So, move it after, and that's it. Like that, we have something clean. Uh, displace X, 0, 1, 2. Displace Y, 0, 1, 2. So, if I come on the first one, I will have this. The second one, I will have this. After, I will have this. This, this, and this. Okay? I can even come on the uh, second bevel and add more subdivisions and make it smaller. Come on the displace. The last... Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, yes, I think it seems I need... Yes, this one, the name uh, has been changed. I need to fix uh, the uh, the name on, the, uh, on those ones. So my bad. I will fix it later. But uh, as you can see, the order doesn't change. Everything is correct. Okay. So, on this one, we will press space, we choose mirror. Be careful to have the uh, merge on the mirror activated. So, with D. Like that. Now, what we will do is to add uh, a solidify, just like that. And we will have this result because uh, we have a weight and normal hair and this object needs a last bevel. But before that, we will add an array space array s for the count we will activate the merge vertices with g that will fix this one 
And now what we will do is add an um, bevel modifier. So space bevel and we will press shift space to add the last one. Okay. So let's click on G to activate the loop slides to be sure to have something correct. So right now this is her result. If I come on this one, boom, I will press S and we will see what we have so far. Like that. Okay. So I will come back on the array. I will add more subdivisions. Let's see 24. On this one, I will press space and I will activate a simple deform. Boom. And as you can see, you can change it. I will press 360. Boom. And that will give me this result. So, uh, this is nice, but there is a little miss, a little, uh, issue. And we cannot fix it until we have a merge modifier. That means we will have this cut here. Because on this simple deform, if I play with S for the angle, Yep, as you can see, that will not merge the last point at the at the end. And I tried everything, even if we use a curve that will give us this same result. There is no way to uh, merge point uh, like that. So let's enter the proper value. And that's it. So we created this. If I come back on the array, I will play with the count. As you can see, I will have my object like that. And now, if I come back on the solidify, I will have this, if I want to make something like that. Let's continue. You can uh, edit absolutely everything, since we added a lot of modifiers. So, let's go on the first one. If I edit it, I will have this. If I edit this one, I will have... I can even make something like that if I want. I will have this. The third one will give me this result. The displace in Y, this. This this, etc, etc. In fact, uh, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of possibilities. You can do whatever you want. You can edit this solidify and make something small like that. You can add more subdivisions like that. If you want at the end, let's see first add uh, something like uh, 48. At the end, you can add another displace. I will press shift space. And on uh, Y axis, I will be able to, with S, to move it, this one, like that. Once you are okay with uh, your uh, your uh, uh, your uh, gear, you can go in top view. And after, you will be able, with S, with shift, to uh, make something like that. And that will follow everything. The origin of the object will be there. And as you can see, this, this is nice. The only uh, issue is this one, but uh, until we have the merge modifier, we are asking uh, since years. <laughs> uh, this is not possible to fix it until you apply everything except the last bevel if you want. And like that, you will not have it. But uh, let's hope that we, they will add uh, the merge modifier because uh, we really, 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 really needed it. So let's uh, duplicate this object to show you the possibilities we can have. So first, uh, let's play with this solidify. Let's make something more like that. Uh, I will decrease the number of, seg of uh, count on this one to make something like that. I can come on the last bevel and come here, go in top view, up, and move this one here. Boom. It's not perfect, but uh, it's working. So I can come on the first one. I can edit uh, this one, but I will press shape. I want. I don't want on this one. I can edit this one. I can edit uh, this one. I can edit uh, this one to make something like that. This one to make something like that. In fact, I will even edit this one. Up. It was this one. In fact, you can do a bunch of. Uh, of uh, gears because everything is editable. I will select uh, this one and I will increase like that. Select the last one and I will increase it. You can even make something like that and shift space to add a small one. Up like that. Okay. I will press six. I will have this result. So six. So this is uh, one other possibility. I will just do this. Let's duplicate this one. Shift D. Uh, let's play with this one to decrease it a little. Uh, let's see 24. I want something like that. Come on the displace. Uh, play with it. Top view. Up. 
Let's move it like that. This one is not perfect, but uh, that work. So, come uh, under display, select uh, this, not, not this one, but this one. Uh, I want something more like that. Up. Just like that, as you can see. Could be interesting. Up. Edit this one. And maybe edit uh, this one and uh, it was this one. No, this one. Up. Just like that. Play with this solidify to make it smaller, etc. etc. So as you can see, there is a lot of possibilities. This is uh, this is really nice. On this one, if I want, I can add an array. So shift space. I will choose the z-axis. And as you can see, I will have this. Up. And with S for the count. That will give me this result. Boom. I will press 6. And we really, really, really need the... Uh, the merge modifier. I want the merge modifier. <laughs> so let's play with the bevel. I want to play on this one. I want something bigger. I can even make something like that. I can come on the uh, this place. Once you know the um, which one it is, it's really easy to to edit. As you can see, I can even make something like that. Hop. Come back on the bevel. This one. Yep. Like that. I can even play with the profile to make something like that. Oh, yep. Press 6. As you can see. You have a lot of possibilities. And uh, this is not too bad. So, like I said, this one is uh, is really ugly. But uh, on your scene, if you want, you can hide it. You will not see it. And uh, maybe there is some other possibilities. Instead of using a simple deform, try uh, with a curve. But I have the same result. I didn't found uh, any way to not have this uh, this uh, this one because the modifiers doesn't have, uh, for example, the array modifier have, uh, uh, like I said, uh, ah, the name, uh, a merge, but it's not working on the uh, on the last because uh, the bend will be uh, after, and uh, like that, uh, this is not possible. So that's why we need a merge modifier. So that's it. Uh, this is uh, maybe a little bit complicated for beginners, but uh, you can do, you can make parametric objects. If you add uh, more uh, possibilities, you can add more possibilities. You can make something uh, the inside, uh, you can change everything, you can do whatever you want. And uh, if you have some other uh, possibilities, some other ways, don't, don't, hesi don't hesitate. It's always interesting to see how people do and uh, to share the, uh, the workflows. And as you can see, uh, editing this kind of object with speedflow is really easy. It's easier than going directly in the uh, in the uh, tata in this one. So I will just uh, I will exit because I'm still in one. Uh, I will press two, and this is uh, all the modifiers we have. So with speedflow, this is easier and faster to edit everything instead of going in the uh, modifiers tab, do this, change this, etc., etc. Quoi. This is really complicated <laughs> and really slow. So that's it. I uh, hope you like this uh, new uh, speed for basics and see you on the next one. If you like this video, think about subscribing, give a like and activate the bell so you don't miss the new videos. See you later.